Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing a new foundation from Juvia's Place. This is their I Am Magic Foundation. They sent over seven shades, all of which I will be swatching for you all so that you can get a better idea of what each individual shade looks like. And yeah, we're gonna be wearing it, we're gonna be testing it out, we're gonna see how full coverage this is and how it does throughout an entire day. This video is being sponsored by Juvia's Place, so thank you so much to the wonderful people over at Juvia's Place for deciding to sponsor this video review. And thank you all so much for the love and support that I constantly get here on my channel because this sponsorship definitely would not have happened without your support. So thank you, thank you. So now let's go over some of the details for this foundation. It retails for 20 US dollars and it comes in 42 different shades. You get your typical one fluid ounce worth of product and it has a shelf life of 24 months. So if you love the foundation, you have two years to use it all up. And I really love the um, tube that they decided to go with. I love the packaging because you are definitely going to be able to get every single drop out of this tube right here. So you'll be able to use the entire thing up. It is a velvety matte foundation that offers soothing and moisturizing benefits. It is full coverage. It blends and spreads easily while giving you a soft focus effect. It is a lightweight formula that is going to immediately enhance all skin tones with a healthy look. It is also paraben free, oil free, and cruelty free. Okay, so now that we've covered the basic information, let's get right into the swatches. Okay, so we're starting off with the shade 650, which is Alexandria. This is for light skin with neutral undertones. Moving on to 640, which is Malta. This is for light skin with peachy undertones. Next comes 630, which is Capri. This is for light skin with neutral warm undertones. Then we have shade number 620, which is Fez. This is for light skin with neutral warm undertones. Next we have shade 610, which is Cebu. This is for light skin with neutral undertones. Then we have shade number 520, which is Tangier. This is for medium skin with warm undertones. And last but not least, we have 510, which is Aruba. This is for medium skin with golden undertones. All right, so there you have it. Those are all of the swatches. I don't think that I received my perfect shade within this range, so I'm actually going to mix a couple of the shades in order to try to achieve my perfect shade. I'm mixing Capri with Tangier, just half and half right here and I'm pretty sure that that is going to match a lot better. I think Capri was pretty close, but it was just a little bit too light. Tangier is a little bit too deep, but if I mix them together half and half, I'm pretty sure this is a good match. That's half and half. So that is what I'm going to be doing for today's review. All right, so we're gonna start off with this right side. I don't have anything on my skin right now. Everything is just moisturized, but I don't have any primer or anything like that. Just gonna apply a little bit onto this side. And I'm gonna be blending it in using their I Am Magic Foundation brush. Okay, so half and half definitely provided me with the right shade and it is giving full coverage. For sure, this is a full coverage foundation and you don't need a whole lot of product in order to get here. So you can definitely build this foundation up for even more coverage in case you do want it or in case you do feel like you need it. But a little bit goes a long way. Holy cow. So before I go ahead and finish off the rest of my face, I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at the before and after. Okay, so this is the side of my face that currently has no foundation. And this is the side with only one layer of the I Am Magic foundation. All right, so initial thoughts. 
I really like it. I like the amount of coverage that this is providing. I like how it feels. It feels really, really lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have a full coverage heavy foundation on at all. You don't need a whole lot of product in order to achieve a lot of coverage. A little bit goes a long way. And I love that it looks airbrushed. It just, it looks, it looks really good. As of right now, I really, really like it, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. So now I'm simply going to jump off camera really quickly in order to finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so now I am back, makeup is done, and so far so good. I still really like the foundation. It still feels really lightweight. I didn't set this foundation with any kind of a setting spray. I didn't wear a primer underneath, and I didn't have to set it with any powder on top. But we'll see how it wears throughout the entire day. It is currently 10.52. I do plan on wearing this foundation the entire day, and of course I will be coming back halfway through the day in order to show you all some close-ups and to talk to you all a little bit about how the foundation has been wearing up to that point. So I will see you all back here in a few hours for my midday check-in. Okay, so I am back for my midday check-in. It is currently 2.57 in the afternoon. So I've had this foundation on now for a good four hours. Now before I get into my midday thoughts on this foundation, I am going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at my skin with the foundation after four hours of wear. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the left side. As you can see, everything is still intact. Nothing has moved, nothing has worn off. And the same goes for the right side. When it comes to full coverage foundations, I always wanna make sure that nothing breaks up here along my smile lines, that nothing settles in between my smile lines. And as you can see, nothing has. And this is the current situation with the forehead. All right, so there you have it. That is the current situation with the foundation. I still really like it. It still feels really, really lightweight on the skin. It is not settling into any of my fine lines. It has not worn off. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the day, I am a little oily here along the T-zone and I'm normal everywhere else. That is why I tend to gravitate a little bit more toward matte foundations. But because I am normal along the cheeks, sometimes matte foundations can make you feel or can make me feel excessively dry. Um, this one is not doing that. It is very, very comfortable. It's, it's a very comfortable matte foundation so far, and it is keeping me pretty oil-free. I didn't set it at the beginning of the day, like I mentioned. I did not set it with any kind of setting spray, and I did not set it with any powder. So this is just the foundation by itself without any help. Um, and that is that is what we have going on right now, four hours in. So, so far so good, still really happy with it. And I am very hopeful that it continues to look this good for another four plus hours. But we shall see what we are left with at the end of the day. So I will see you all back here in a few hours for my final thoughts on this new Juvia's Place foundation. Okay, so now I am back. It is finally the end of the day and I am ready to call it a night. It is currently 7.36, so I've had this foundation on now for almost a good solid nine hour day. Now before I wash everything off and get ready for bed, I am going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at my skin with the foundation after almost nine hours of wear. All right, so this is what the left side of my face currently looks like. As you can see, it's pretty unchanged. Nothing has really moved around or worn off. And I have the exact same situation going on the right side. Now, as for my smile lines, mm -hmm. the product did not settle, it did not break up, and it also is not really accentuating my smile lines. Some foundations will accentuate them severely. This one did not. And last but not least, the forehead, which to me does not look oily whatsoever. So there you have it. That is what I am left with at the end of an almost nine hour day. And I must say, I truly enjoyed wearing this foundation. It is absolutely full coverage and you don't even need a whole lot of product in order to achieve full coverage with this. I love the finish on this foundation. It is a very, very comfortable matte finish. It is not too dry whatsoever. If you're someone who prefers full coverage, but you don't want a heavy foundation, definitely look into this one because it absolutely delivers. 
So those are my thoughts on the new I Am Magic Foundation. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you all. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation